Welcome back to my golf vlog. Uh, my name is Carter and we are on the same property as we were before at Bill and Payne Stewart Golf Course, but this is a nine hole par three. This is a nine hole par three on the property. This first hole is uphill, but I think it said like 120 yards, so uh, gap wedge. So my main goal for this round is to work on my short game. So missing a green really almost is ideal in that in that scenario because I want to work on these kind of chips here. You can see how wet the ground is. That wasn't my greatest, but we've got this putt for par. And I just missed it right. I honestly think the wind, I, I should have counted for the wind a little bit because it was gusting pretty bad. So. That was a bogey. Here's hole two, 145 yard par three. This hole, this course is meant for junior golf, so there's not much challenge here. But hey, par threes, you can always uh, find your, you can always work on your short game. There's nothing too easy or too difficult for any golfer. So. I hit this pretty well and the wind carried it to where I wanted it to, but just a little short I got this 30 feet putt for birdie. And the wind is howling here so I kind of take a step back here to, to make sure my line is right. And I don't hit it hard. I don't hit it nearly hard. I mean, that was like halfway, but. I end up walking in this putt, which was pretty impressive, but I, I think that was out of anger because that second putt, that first putt was, that first putt was awful. But that is a par, and we are on to hole three. Hole three shares a green with hole seven, I believe. It's a pretty short hole. It's only like 110 yards or so. I think it was playing closer to 103. And I hit this pretty much right on my line, but it went a little bit long. So we're, we're sitting on top of this uh, ridge here. So this is something I usually don't do, but I decided to visualize my shot. I'm a big believer in deciding what you want to do with the club and then when you address the ball you're executing and if you have any doubt you should step back and figure out a new plan. Putter was, wasn't the right play. I can chip this on. And I hit a pretty good chip considering the, the lie I think. And I hit a pretty good chip, I think. So this is for par. So through three, I'm only one over. This is hole four, 150 yards. The only thing with this hole is you can't go long because you are going to lose a ball. Uh, that fence is right there on the green. My goal for this round was to shoot three over. My personal best on this course is one over after nine holes, but I really wanted to try holding myself. You know, I haven't played as much in this year, so I wanted to really try and get three over. I pulled this shot and, you know, kind of stung my hands a little bit, but we're still looking at an okay shot to the flag. And I hit this ball way too hard. I actually hit it over the fence. So this is going to be a drop shot. This is going to be for bogey. Yeah, 
and it just missed. I hit that one pretty well, but this is for double bogey. So I knocked that putt in. Now I'm at my three over, which is a real shame, but we've got some holes in front of us. And like I said, this is a junior golf course. It's not super difficult. So hole five is the longest hole on this course at 185 yards. That's about what it was playing. And I actually hit this one really well. It was going straight at the flag, but it went a little long. It actually ran through the green a little bit, but it's okay. This is an okay putt. I can get this pretty close to the hole, I think. You can see it is sweeping left to right, but distance-wise, I should be okay. It goes right, and it should come back left a little bit, but I don't give it enough. This is for par. And I pulled it. That I was lined up okay, but that, that wasn't a great stroke. This is for bogey. And now we're sitting at four over. I, I decided to stick with my goal three over. I really wanted to get three over, so I'm going to continue being aggressive. Uh, this hole has that pin in the back with that bunker on the left, which going for the pin is not really a great idea for me because my miss is left into that bunker. I end up pulling it right and it goes past the green. Getting a little frustrated, which it's funny when I watch back this footage, I don't think I really was that frustrated. But when I see how physically frustrated I am, it really does make you think like, maybe I mentally I think I'm okay, but I'm not. So not a great, not a great chip. Got this for par. When, when I see myself kind of swing my club or even like toss my putter like that, I really think, man, I am more frustrated than I thought I was. Just skirts the right edge and I'll put that in for double. Here's that hole seven that connects with hole three. This hole, honestly, I think is the hardest hole. Uh, my camera actually didn't record my shot. So there it is right there. That's where I hit it. Hit it to the right, um, pin high, but just to the right of the green. Big sweeping putt, and that was actually a really good read, so I've got that for par. Once again, I didn't end up getting that uh, recording, but I knocked that in for par. Hole eight is probably my favorite hole. It, it's kind of it kind of bowls out here on the left, so. If you end up anywhere on the left, it should feed down into the green, downhill. So that was another moment where I thought, uh, I think I'm sure I know what I'm doing, which doesn't mean that I am. And I took a second and I breathed and I said, okay, this is the shot that I want to try. And so I pretty much ended up going for the pin hitting it left but like I said it's a bowl so when you hit that left that left slope it came straight back on the green so I've got this for birdie and a great putt just not enough I'm starting to read the greens a lot better Although these greeds aren't that hard to read, but I, I'm still reading the breaks that are there, and that's going to be a pretty disappointing par. I thought I had that birdie, so. Well, it's pretty obvious I'm not going to get three over uh, for these nine holes. I'm already sitting at six over, so unless I just not play the ninth hole, it's not really going to work. But hole nine's a pretty easy hole. We've got this pin sitting on the front of this green.
and that was that was my first that was a big slice I the wind was gusting once again I tried to put more on it and that's not great oh I, I hit this one I pretty much just came out flying so uh, I had to drop and you can see I had some people waiting on me so I kind of th this is the score that I got for this hole but I kind of put away that tur tournament mindset and I was just trying to get off the green so that they could play through but this is gonna be I think a seven I think I make this but not not a great ninth hole so once again not great golf but we're gonna keep getting better uh, we're gonna play these nine holes again and we'll see if I can improve anything uh, second time around so round recap better short game positive headspace that was the one thing I really noticed I I didn't realize how much that affected me when I saw myself play so I definitely next time I go out there I'm gonna stay a lot more light on my feet and even if I get frustrated, I'm not going to try and show it as much because I think that's going to help me in the long run. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned next week for the next time I play these nine holes. Make sure to subscribe so you won't miss the video next week, and I'll see you then.